Hey friends, uh, good morning. Uh, so today we are going to see what is uh, Windows Information Protection. Okay. So uh, in today's corporate world, lot of data are stored in private clouds and personal devices. Okay. So Windows Information Protection uh, is known as a, a Enterprise Data Protection helps prevent accidental data leakages. Okay. By using WIP. Uh, or Windows Information Protection, companies can encrypt the enterprise data or corporate owned and on corporate owned and personal devices. Okay, so by that way there will be no data leakage because the data will be encrypted and stored in the corporate and personal devices. You, you can also choose uh, which uh, apps can access the enterprise data and remotely wipe the data from the device. Okay. Uh, if the de uh, device is lost, uh, something like that. Okay. Uh, in addition, user don't have to switch apps on or environments when working with personal or enterprise data. Okay. So all these are uh, you can configure in a WIP policy. Okay. So this uh, is kind of uh, uh, what we will see in today's demo on how to create a WIP policy and enforce it. Okay. For this, uh, we will be using the SCCM uh, console. Okay, so open the SCCM console. Okay, uh, click on Asset and Compliance uh, Overview, Compliance Settings, Configuration Items. Okay. From the top in the home bar, click on create configuration item. Okay. Here is where we will create our WAP policy. I will name this policy as WAP uh, block policy. WAP policy block. Okay. As uh, which all device you want to manage with this policy, I want to manage only Windows 10 devices for now. Okay, uh, click next. Now it will show you the options, uh, different versions of Windows 10. Uh, I will select both, both 32 and 64 bit. Okay, click next. Here in the device settings, uh, you have to select uh, what you want to uh, what policy you want to define here we select windows information protection policy you can see specify app define network boundaries choose the restriction mode and other windows information protection settings okay so this is mainly for protecting the data click next and here uh, you have to configure the rules uh, specify the rules which WAP will apply okay so I'm going to allow uh, for example Internet Explorer to access the enterprise data okay and that no other uh, uh, application is allowed to access the enterprise data okay so click on add rule name Internet uh, Explorer 11 okay so here you can choose allow or exempt i will allow is it a desktop app or a store app it's a desktop app windows 11 publisher uh, if you know the publisher name you can give the publisher name uh, okay it's always good to give the publisher name uh, so here the publisher name is uh, so that somebody else don't uh, you know uh, malicious uh, software don't uh, uh, put the internet explorer in the name and publish it so here o equal to microsoft organization equal to microsoft corporation location equal to Redmond state equal to Washington
country equal to US so by this way we can be sure that in this Internet Explorer is uh, provided by Microsoft okay and in the binaries select Internet Explorer exe uh, I X P L O R E R explore dot exe so this is the exe of Internet Explorer uh, any version is okay click OK so what we have now done is added a policy for Internet Explorer allow okay so now we will block paste drop share action when attempting to move data out of the enterprise location and the apps so even though I have allowed Internet Explorer to view the corporate data I am not going to allow the users to copy the data okay because they are uh, corporate data I don't want anybody to copy uh, paste or share it uh, using this Internet Explorer okay so I block uh, these actions copy paste and other things okay and here uh, I have to give my um, corporate identity which is your domain so corp dot contoso dot com okay scroll down and here you will define your corporate network boundaries okay to be protected by the WB access to this network locations will be restricted to only the app that means the app criteria defined in the app rules okay so now I will mention the corporate boundaries where the other apps can access the data so I will create two kind of uh, corporate boundaries one is for the domain and one is for the uh, IP range okay so first is name so corp dot contoso dot com domain name okay and uh, here you can see what all domains are allowed so corp dot contoso dot com so any uh, device which is coming from this domain is allowed to uh, use that app okay click ok uh, one more uh, rule I will add is the IP range corp.contoso.com IP range here I will click the IP4 range and here we have to give the IP range so my corporate IP network is 10.10.0.1.1 .10 and okay this is the corporate range that is allowed click OK now scroll down so I want to show a WAP icon overlay on the allowed apps okay so that uh, they know they are using as a WAP it's a information protected IP okay next is uh, we have to give the certificate path okay so that uh, we can wipe out the data from the remote device if the device is lost so for that uh, give a certificate uh, you can request from the AD team for a cert and install that uh, cert here okay and show uh, personal options from the file ownership menu in the Windows file explorer and Windows explorer box I'm going to click yes so that uh, it will show the options click next I'll leave this default click next 
it will show you summary what it going to do okay click next and your WIP policy is created so this is how you create your WIP policy uh, in system center uh, configuration manager and apply it to your clients I hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching